hello and welcome to my channel guys today i'm gonna be showing you about private hire tax code which most of the local councils asking taxi drivers and uh, especially in crowley i will be showing you how to do this code online so first of all you need to search online private hire taxi driver code and then you will see this page will be coming up and it will say new tax check for taxi and private hire drivers and scrap metal licenses so what you need to do is you need to check all of these details so once when you search on google complete a tax check for taxi private hire this page will come up once this page will come up then it will take you further into next page and then you will see here what a taxi check-in and all so what we're gonna be covering today is a taxi driver and private hire driver so i'm gonna show you step by step how we're gonna be taking this further so if you read it all through it will be a taxi driver private hire driver scrap matter so first of all you need to go all the way down and you say complete a text check and you say start now so first of all you will need to sign in using government gateway id so if you don't have this id i will be uploading another video which will show you how to make this id but most of the drivers they have this id so you just need to log in and put your name and then date of birth it will come up and then you need to confirm it once you will press here confirm then it will take you to the next stage and here it will tell you your text check code so then it will ask you what type of license are you applying for because we're doing taxi driver and private hire so you need to take the first option because we're covering in this video taxi drivers and private hire drivers so we're gonna be clicking on the first option this one and uh, then we need to press next and it will take us to the further down and then it will ask you how many years ago did you first get a license for this activity some people have zero to two some two to four some four to eight and some more than eight years so if you're doing it for more than eight years you need to click eight years or more or if you're doing it less so it depends which option is uh, good for you so i'm just doing it eight years or more this option i will be clicking on it and then you press continue then it will ask you how long was your most recent license valid for some people renew it for one year some for two some for three so if it was for three you press three if it's two you press three if it's the one year so you press the one year option i'm gonna be clicking here one year and then i have to press continue after that so once i've done that then it will give you another option it says tax status for the tax year 6 april 2020 to 5 april so he'll be asking you for your driver or taxi private hire license which of the following applies so you need to read all these four options and then once you know which one is yours you need to click on that so i was an employee only for work using the license you pay tax through pay i was registered for self assessment only for work using the license you paid tax through self assessment so i will be choosing option two but you still can read the third and fourth as well i was both an employee and registered for self assessment for work using the license you pay tax through a combination of pay and self-assessment i had no tax to pay for using if you didn't work and you just had this license then you can uh, put the option four but because i'm gonna be choosing two that is related to me and then i have to press continue once i've done that 
then it will ask me did you include income you earned using this type of license in your tax return so this is your self assessment tax for tax year so you will say yes on this one at this page it will show you check your answers so if you done anything wrong or if you think that you done it accidentally wrong you still can go back and change it so you can see all of the answers you've done and then it will ask you some small declaration and if you think it's okay then you can press confirm and then what we'll do is it will give you the code so this is the code you need to give it to your local council or uber you know or any other councils so this is all you need to do so it didn't take long if you like my video please share it and like it thank you very much for watching my video and i'll be uploading more informative videos soon thank you